cursed objects investigating cursed artifacts with mysterious histories. Welcome back, Supernaturals. Today we will dive deep into the world of cursed artifacts and their enigmatic pasts. Join us on an exhilarating journey as we explore the mysterious histories behind these intriguing objects, uncover their eerie stories, and navigate the tales of the unexplained. Warning, following content can be scary or shocking for some individuals. 1. The Hope Diamond, a jewel of misfortune. The Hope Diamond, a legendary gem housed in the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History, is steeped in a mystique fueled by tales of misfortune and tragedy. Its beauty is unparalleled, boasting a rich, deep blue hue that captivates all who behold it. Yet, behind this allure lies a history brimming with dark lore, attributing a curse to the precious stone. Legend whispers of the diamond's origins in India, where it was said to have adorned a sacred Hindu statue, rumored to have been stolen and cursed by a priest. From that moment, the diamond passed through various hands, each tale accompanied by sorrowful events and calamities, contributing to the lore of its curse. One such story traces the diamond to the 17th century French gem merchant Jean-Baptiste Tavernier, who acquired it during his travels. According to the myth, Tavernier faced an unfortunate demise, allegedly torn apart by wild dogs in Russia. The gem then found its way into the royal courts of Europe, adorning monarchs and elites. King Louis XIV of France, known for his opulent tastes, possessed the stone. However, his reign was marked by turmoil, with wars, financial crises, and personal tragedies plaguing his rule. The Hope Diamond passed from one aristocratic owner to another, leaving a trail of misfortune in its wake. Among its subsequent possessors was Marie Antoinette, the ill-fated Queen of France, who faced a tragic end during the French Revolution. Similarly, Evelyn Walsh McLean, a prominent American heiress who later owned the diamond, encountered profound misfortunes, including the loss of her son and the eventual loss of her fortune. This alleged curse surrounding the Hope Diamond has fascinated historians, gemologists, and paranormal enthusiasts alike. Scientists have sought to unravel the mysteries surrounding its unique properties, attributing its blue hue to traces of boron in its carbon structure, creating a mesmerizing phosphorescence under ultraviolet light. Two. The Bahano Face, a vessel of death. The world of cursed artifacts brims with enigmatic tales and ominous legacies, each shrouded in mystery and whispers of misfortune. Among these haunting relics, the Bahano Face stands as a chilling testament to an inexplicable series of tragedies. This foreboding vessel, an ornate silver face, was purportedly crafted in the 15th century in Italy. Its exquisite design belies a haunting history steeped in a dark aura. According to the lore surrounding the Bahano vase, it was a wedding gift bestowed upon an Italian bride from her betrothed. However, instead of bestowing joy, the vase purportedly unleashed a relentless curse, casting a shadow over the lives it touched. Legend whispers of an ill-fated wedding night, where the bride met a grisly end, poisoned by an unknown malevolent force. As her life ebbed away, she is said to have uttered a chilling prophecy that the vase itself would bring doom upon those who possessed it. The vase, despite its cursed reputation, passed through several owners, each succumbing to tragic fates that eerily aligned with the bride's prophecy. Mysterious deaths, accidents, and misfortune plagued those who dared possess the vessel, leaving behind a trail of inexplicable misery. Centuries later, the Bahano vase found itself housed within the walls of a museum in northern Italy. However, even within the confines of a museum, the curse persisted. Museum staff reported peculiar occurrences, from inexplicable cold spots to unexplained phenomena surrounding the vase. Visitors spoke of feeling an unnerving presence as they gazed upon its intricate design. Numerous attempts have been made to understand the inexplicable forces surrounding the Bahano vase. Experts in the realms of paranormal investigation, historical research, and psychic phenomena have all sought to unravel its mysteries, but the curse's hold remains elusive. Scientific scrutiny has yielded little explanation for the purported curse. No known chemical or biological agent has been found within the vase to account for the alleged fatalities. Skeptics dismiss the tales as mere folklore, attributing the tragedies to coincidence rather than an otherworldly force. 3. The Chair of Death, Thomas Busby's Revenge 
The Chair of Death, with its chilling moniker, holds a haunting tale steeped in the lore of Thomas Busby's cursed vengeance. This foreboding piece of furniture has transcended time, leaving a dark trail of misfortune and tragedy in its wake. Its story, intertwined with the malevolent spirit of Busby, paints a portrait of a cursed artifact shrouded in mystery and fear. Legend has it that in the late 1600s, Thomas Busby, an Englishman, was a volatile and temperamental individual. He was also the owner of a local pub near Thirsk, North Yorkshire. His notorious reputation for erratic behavior escalated when a man known as Daniel Audie dared to sit in Busby's favorite chair, nestled within the confines of the pub. Infuriated by this act, Busby confronted Audie, leading to a heated altercation. It culminated in Busby murdering Audie near the pub. Just before his execution, Busby made an ominous proclamation. Anyone who dared sit in his cursed chair would suffer a tragic fate. Since then, tales of inexplicable deaths and misfortune befell those who dared to occupy Busby's chair. Locals spoke of a curse that permeated the very fabric of the seat, believing it to be imbued with Busby's malevolent spirit, seeking vengeance from beyond the grave. Over the centuries, Numerous instances of misfortune linked to the chair have been documented. Stories recount unexpected deaths, accidents, and tragedies striking those who disregarded the ominous warning. Reports often describe an eerie sensation surrounding the chair, an unnerving energy that sends shivers down the spine of anyone who encounters it. Despite its unsettling history, the chair of death remains an object of fascination for paranormal enthusiasts and historians. Many have attempted to unravel the mysteries surrounding its curse, delving into its dark history and attempting to understand the forces at play. However, the chair's whereabouts remain a mystery. Some claim it was removed from the pub to prevent further calamity, while others believe it was destroyed to put an end to the curse. For Annabelle, the possessed doll. In the realm of paranormal investigations, few objects captivate the imagination and instill fear as intensely as Annabelle, the possessed doll. Locked behind glass in the Warren's Occult Museum, Annabelle stands as a chilling reminder of the supernatural forces believed to have wreaked havoc in her wake. The tale of Annabelle begins innocently, a gift to a young nursing student in the 1970s. However, the doll's benign appearance belies the sinister events that followed. Allegedly, strange occurrences emerged soon after the doll entered the home. Movements inexplicably observed, accompanied by ominous notes appearing, suggesting the presence of an entity attached to the doll. Disturbed by escalating paranormal activities, the nurse sought the assistance of renowned paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren. The Warrens' investigation revealed a dark history entwined with Annabelle. Their findings suggested that the doll was manipulated by an inhuman presence, cleverly masking its malevolent intentions. An entity, claiming to be a young girl named Annabelle Higgins, seemingly sought refuge within the doll. However, the Warrens suspected a far more malevolent force behind the facade, utilizing the doll to manipulate and terrorize. Throughout the investigation, eerie occurrences continued. Witnesses reported inexplicable events, such as the doll seemingly changing positions and displaying menacing expressions. Tales of unexplained scratches, warnings, and even physical attacks linked to the doll amplified the belief that Annabelle harbored a malevolent spirit. For the safety of others, the Warrens took possession of the doll and placed her in a specially constructed case within the museum, blessed by a priest to contain her malevolent influence. The doll's glass enclosure serves as a chilling reminder of the unknown forces that purportedly inhabit her. The legend of Annabelle persists, captivating paranormal enthusiasts and sparking curiosity in the supernatural. However, skepticism also surrounds her story, with skeptics attributing the events to psychological influences or exaggerated tales. 5. The Crying Boy Painting, A Portrait of Sorrow in the realm of cursed artifacts, few have sparked as much intrigue and speculation as the enigmatic crying boy painting. This haunting portrait, depicting a young boy with tear-filled eyes, has become shrouded in a mysterious history that has captured the imaginations of many. The story of the crying boy begins in the early 1950s, believed to have been painted by an unknown Spanish artist. Mass-produced copies of this striking portrait found their way into numerous homes across Europe, particularly in England, where the painting's tale takes an eerie turn. 
rumors began to surface, linking the painting to inexplicable fires. Countless reports emerged of homes destroyed by fire, and amidst the ashes and devastation, the crying boy paintings remained unscathed. Strangely, these incidents led to the notion that the paintings possessed an otherworldly protection, safeguarding them from the flames that consumed everything around them. As whispers of the painting's curse spread, fear and superstition took hold. Some claimed that the sorrowful eyes of the boy held a malevolent power, while others speculated about dark rituals performed during its creation, imbuing it with an unsettling energy. Despite skepticism and attempts to debunk the curse, the eerie coincidences persisted. Firefighters, reportedly unnerved by the inexplicable pattern, allegedly refused to keep the painting in their homes, fostering an aura of fear and mystery around the crying boy. Amidst the speculation, theories abound. Some believe that the paintings were coated with a fire-retardant substance, explaining their survival in blazes. Others attribute the fires to mere coincidence or faulty wiring, dismissing the curse as nothing more than folklore. Yet, the unsettling stories persist, adding to the painting's mystique. Paranormal investigators, historians, and skeptics alike have delved into the history of the crying boy, attempting to unravel its secrets. Some claim to have experienced an eerie sense of unease in its presence, contributing to the painting's notoriety. While skepticism remains prevalent, the crying boy painting continues to captivate. That was it for today. See you eerie spirits in the next one.